with me because I have a lot to read. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, congratulations to the high school Italian program. They have several students representing Palisades Park very well. Tiffany Lazan is an AP Italian student. She was elected by the Italian Embassy and the Air Italia um, to study in Rome on the Roman campus of the American University this summer for five weeks. The Italian American Committee on Education and the Office of Education of the Consulate General of Italy in New York sponsors a contest for schools in the tri-state area. So 20 students. Excuse me, Maria, can you speak a little louder because it doesn't pick up on the tape. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. All right. Um, okay, so they sponsored a contest to schools in the tri-state area. So the 20 students may spend two weeks Studying it, uh, a studying vacation in Narni, Italy. The contest consists of a two-minute video in Italian about the Italian cinema. Once again, Palisades Park has two winners um, to attend out of the 20 students. And it's Caroline Lee and Celio, Celio, uh, Celio, Celio Rivera. Rivera. Um, this year is also well represented in the National Italian Language Contest sponsored by the AATI. Our students participated in various levels receiving national recognition. Italian won placed, this is very impressive, Italian won placing 11 among 1,591 students nationwide. Honorable mention recipient Isabel Alexis and Ina Lee. Italian two placed 17 among 1,435 students nationwide. Honorable mention to Kevin Meza. And Italian three placed 13 among 1,332 nationwide. Honorable mention Kevin Guglielmo. Yeah. Sorry Kevin, I messed up your last name. Kevin is also a recipient of a monetary scholarship because of his academic achievement and will be honored at a lunch on June 24th in New York City. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May 21st, 
25th, Dr. Cirillo and I had the privilege of attending the sports uh, dinner at Fiesta. Congratulations to all the athletes and coaches for a great season. For example, track and field made it to the state group one championship. Uh, we wish them continued success. Dr. Cirillo and I also had the honor of attending the senior prom on June 1st. The students, the students looked amazing and they had a great time. Thank you to Mrs. Y and Mrs. Perez for organizing to perfection a wonderful evening. Now on to graduations. Lindbergh graduation is Wednesday, uh, 621, and that's at 630? Yes. I believe so. 630. And then the high school graduation is Thursday, 622, at 6, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And that's going to be? Right now it is at the county field here in Palisades Park. Um, in the event of inclement weather, we obviously would be at the high school auditorium. And as a reminder to the board members, you should have received an email from New Jersey School Board Association to complete the superintendent's evaluation. And I think I am done. Dr. Shiro. Thank you. Um, a few quick items to mention. First, I would uh, like to acknowledge Ms. Bongard and the faculty and staff of Lindbergh Elementary School. Once again, they are receiving a $1,000 scholarship from the Bergen County Utilities Authority. So kudos to that group. Second, um, we have the Berg, uh, Palisades Park Track and Field team would like to thank the Board of Education um, for their representation at the state tournament down in Egg Harbor. Um, two seniors, a sophomore and a freshman, had the opportunity to compete at the state level uh, again, Palisades Park should be very proud of this accomplishment. It's not every year that children of our schools get to compete at the state level. Um, sectionals happen, states don't always happen, so this is a great accomplishment. Also, under my report, there were two items. One of them is a request for our um, dance team um, to potentially participate in a national competition next February. Um, I would like to speak to the board a little bit further about this tonight. There is one sensitivity issue to this, so maybe in closed session I would discuss this, um, and hopefully we can have a resolution after that. And finally, um, a very uh, big night, a national night out once again, is being hosted by the Palisades Park Police Department on Tuesday, August 1st. Um, I know we tried it a little different this year. We are going back to the old uh, routine of the actual night of National Night Out. So Tuesday, August 1st, Lindbergh Elementary School. Thank you. Report of the Board Attorney. I have no report. Report of the Committee. Finance, Mr. Manson. <coughs> Before you, you had 14 resolution. I had the privilege of looking at them and uh, I make a motion to accept all 14 on the consent agenda. I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez? Yes to all except for number one. I have to recuse myself on that. Mr. Paul Kim? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donald? Yes. Mr. Miss Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason? Yes. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mr. Rotondo? Yes. <coughs> Buildings and ground, Mr. Donovan? <coughs> Uh, yes, before you have one resolution for use of uh, GCC building, uh, I move that the board uh, approve it. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Paul Kent? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Ms. Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason Kim? Yes. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mr. Rotondo? Yes. <coughs> Uh, personnel, Mr. Wu is not here. Paul, would you like to take that? Yes, uh, personally, I have nothing to report. Oh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. personal officer, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, there are one. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wu, would you like to take that? There are nine resolutions here for the uh, personal committee. I would like to make a motion to approve all nine. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Paul Kim? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Ms. Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason Kim? Yes. Mr. 
Madison. Yes. Mr. Rotondo. Yes. Uh, curriculum, Mr. Rotondo? No. <coughs> oh, Mr. Jason Kemp. Yeah, I have nothing to report to the <coughs> Negotiations, Mr. Paul Kemp. Yes, the teacher's contracts are I believe the last phase of finalization. And uh, custodial contracts are still in the deep midst of the negotiation I believe we're going to meet this month. Right. Thank you. Policy, Mr. Anthony Rotundo. Uh, in front of you, we have a uh, amendment that was made to a policy that we had passed uh, previously. If you look to page two of the policy, you'll see the amendment. So this is the first reading of it again with the amendment. It's on missing, abused, and neglected children. Do I hear a second? No second. Any discussion? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Paul Kim? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Ms. Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason Kim? Yes. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mr. Rotondo? Yes. PTA, PTSA student activities, Ms. Wang? Uh, before you are two uh, field trips, I make a motion to can move on both. I second. second. Any discussion? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Paul Kim? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Ms. Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason Kim? Yes. Mr. Matisich? Yes. Mr. Rotondo? Yes. Calendar includes Ms. Wang? Uh, nothing to report at this time. New Jersey School Board Liaison, Mr. Bruno? No report at this time. Any old business? Well, I'd, I'd just like to comment on uh, one thing. Uh, Lindbergh School had a uh, spring concert, and I was fortunate to attend it. Uh, thank Dr. Zaro and uh, Ms. Mancini for a wonderful job that they did with the instruments and the chorus. That said, the week after, we went to Prudential Center, and we heard 8,500 children, grade five and six, maybe seven, singing all in unison. And I thought it was a fantastic show that I couldn't believe that 8,500 8, kids can sing all at once and know the same songs. I really enjoyed myself and um, I was very happy that we participated. That, that day they said 50,000 children throughout the world sang because it was Voice of Youth of America, I believe. So again, I congratulate Dr. Zaro and uh, Ms. Mancini for a wonderful job. New business. <coughs> well, we, we have a, something on new business for the dates. <coughs> you want to read it, John? I make a motion. You want to read it first? We yeah. resolve that the board, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approves the following board of education mm -hmm. meeting dates through December 2017. The official public notice of the 2017 18 meeting schedule will be advertised after the reorganizational meeting during the first week in, the, in January 2018. July and August to be scheduled as needed. September 20th, 17th, October 18th, November 15th, December 20th. All meetings will begin at 7 p.m. Unless otherwise noted. I think we wanted to make an addition there. The August meeting will be August 30th. We have the date, okay. Yep, we have the date for the August meeting. And July is the second year. So do I hear a motion? <coughs> John, John makes a motion, and who is second? No second. Any discussion? I would be able to make August 30th. If it's okay with everybody else, you guys can pass it. I just won't be able to make that happen. Anything further? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Paul Kim? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Ms. Wang? Yes. Mr. Jason Kim? Yes. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mr. Rotondo? Yes. Be resolved that the board does hold over the contracts of all professionals to the board until the reorganization meeting of January 2018. Do I hear? I make a motion on that. I'll second. Any discussion? Roll call. Excuse me, Rich. What was that, please? I didn't hear the rest. I'll give it to you. But be resolved. 
The board holds over the contracts of all professionals to the board until the reorganization meeting of January 2018. Okay. She actually on all the same terms and conditions yeah, of the contracts. Okay. So John Madison, Anthony, and Anthony. Any discussion? Roll call. Ms. Alvarez. Yes. Mr. Tim. Yes. Mr. Bruno. Yes. Mr. Donovan. Yes. Ms. Wang. Yes. Mr. Jason Tim. Yes. Mr. Matisic. Yes. Mr. Rotundo. Yes. Do you uh, hear a motion to? I have a motion to go into audience participation. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Audience participation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no. Oh, Kathy Doheny, co-president of the PPA. Um, we sent a letter to uh, Dr. Cirillo and to Mrs. Alvarez about the last day of school, about the possibility of ending for the teachers on Friday. I was wondering if any decision was made on that. Well, I did speak to Ms. Alvarez about that. Um, I will speak to the board tonight uh, a little privately, and then we will be making hopefully another decision after closed session. Because as we discussed, we thought that that was part of negotiations, but during the mediation se session, that was never even brought up by that mediator that night. That was his goal, was to, to settle on that. That's what his job was. But I have to be honest, we couldn't have accepted it anyway in lieu of money because we couldn't have moved the people across the guide. And it, even at that rate, we devalued the guide by adding a step. And I think that this would be just a show of appreciation to our teachers who go over and above every day. They stay an hour or two after school. They're going to be back in school this summer, moving their classrooms and doing all those things because of overcrowded. Some people are moving again who just moved last year, but that's just the way it fell this year. And as a show of appreciation, we ask that you um, end school on Friday. Anyone else? <coughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jane Jolt. I'm a Korean Older Society Advisor and the Hokula Advisor. I came here tonight because of I'm working during five years Korean Older Society ad Advisor, but I will never cast the, uh, I want to get a right position as a Korean Older Society. I never get a stipend, so how can I apply there once we want to discuss about this matter? So if I may, Jane, I'll help you a little bit um, respectfully. Ms. Cho has been a, uh, she was the first certified Korean language teacher in the state of New Jersey. Palisades Park was the first school district to offer Korean as a foreign language. And shortly thereafter, we begun, uh, began the Korean Honor Society, similar to the Spanish, Italian, and National Honor Society. And Ms. Cho sent me an email. We spoke a little bit about this last week. Um, and I know this is an issue not necessarily for the board, as I mentioned. It's really for the negotiations team to bring forth to the board. Um, but the board, I'm sure, would be very happy to see the letter. It was very well written, and it's something that I'm sure the board would fully consider for compensation. That is the letter. Perfect. You guys have a copy. Yeah. Does anyone on the board have any questions regarding the letter? Uh, I would like to make sure that in our next negotiation, we'll have a discussion about her. Sure. But, uh, that's why we came to Korean Other Society STEM member <laughs> and then President, Vice President. So, yes. Is the other uh, teacher like her advisor uh, get a stipend? Sure. Three of the other four receive a stipend that is uh, negotiated between the board and the teachers association. Um, I don't want to speak out of turn here, Rich. I know it's a negotiation issue, but yes. Yeah, uh, what we, we, we would do, <coughs> the committee can discuss it. Everything has to be based on a recommendation of the superintendent. Um, Dr. Cirillo will sit with the committee, and then what we can do is we can always, um, we wouldn't necessarily have to wait for the next negotiations. If you feel it's something that you would recommend, we can reach out to the union and do it that way. And then just there's, no, there's no need to wait. I would recommend we're it right always, now. We're always open to it. If you want to add a stipend position, Absolutely. and I think she does the job well, yeah. um, we're more than happy to agree to that. We're very agreeable. What was the reason for not getting the last two years? Lee, you want to uh, I am, uh, I am uh, Lee Musser. I am the negotiations chair. Um, it was in the proposal presented to the board during our negotiations. I, 
Other than that, I'm not going to talk about okay. the whole process, but it was in the proposal that was okay. from the PPA to the board. So it's a um, work in progress for this so, proposal. So, yeah, so I mean, like, we obviously want it in there, but, um, yeah, I mean, if it's something you want to talk about in closed session, like, I will gladly uh, give my input. Pers but. Personally, you know, it was a committee decision. We're Dr. Cirillo, but personally, for me, I agree with Dr. Cirillo. And if we're going to try as much as we can, we just say it. Of course, we do have to finalize with the rest of the uh, committee. But we'll let you know shortly. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? I also like to say thank you for increasing this, the um, the amount you pay the substitutes uh, because <laughs> we need them. And they tell me, we have some great subs, but they say, Ms. Doheny, I have to go. I'm only working one day. I have to go where they I make the most money. So it'll be a good thing for us. Thank you. So what are you guys going to do for us in, in, in place of good, good pay? We do it every single day at our school. You come to our school and you'll see the good things we do every day. I'll give you an example. Stop. I'll give you an example. We went to the pool party yesterday. A student came to school. He had no lunch. This young lady in the back would like to speak. Oh, I'll tell in a minute. Tell us your name. Karen, I commend you um, publicly. I will tell you, you are a very mature young lady for doing what you're doing right now, speaking on behalf of your team. I've had conversation with Mr. Donahue and Mr. Robleski as late as 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, the number was 19. I'm happy to hear the number's at 21. Unfortunately, some of your girls have to submit the online paperwork quickly. Um, so you're going to be a senior, and there are many issues with that. Unfortunately, seniors cannot participate in JV games. With that being said, if you are a club and not a sport, you potentially can pick up independent games. These are all things that we will consider. My advice is practice. Continue to do what you guys have been doing. I will go to the high school tomorrow, speak to Mr. Robleski and Mr. Donahue. I don't promise anything, but I will do my best to make sure if there is enough involvement that we will have our own team. Okay? Yeah. I will do my best. Okay. Anything further? Yeah. 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 Um, on behalf of the uh, Korean Touch Group of Kelsey Park, good evening everyone. Um, I wanted to say just two things. First of all, we are really appreciative of um, the, the event that we had last month, um, May 23rd, and it's uh, Memorial Friday, Memorial Weekend Friday. Limburg has, um, we were open, Limburg opened their fields uh, annually. So we had our 15th year of Children's Day fe uh, Festival. We had over 400 uh, parents, I mean, 400 students and the parents. It was greatly uh, successfully done. And I really appreciate the <coughs> organization and Mrs. Bongard and um, all the teachers. You know, come and visit us and talk to the friend I and mean, talk to the students and parents. So it was really, really a um, nice event that even among the Korean uh, society, Korean um, community, and the Telfax, the Children's Day, and the Telfax school system is getting really um, hearing a good words because the school's very supportive to us. So thank you very much for that. And the second thing that I wanted to mention is, I know in the future, um, I heard that the Korean students I mean, the Korean class registration students' numbers are higher, and they are really um, looking forward to attending or register for um, the Korean class, but they couldn't because there was a limitation of the number of students, like Korean one, just one class instead of two. So I'm re really looking forward to give us a more class to open and um, more chance to be not only just Korean, Korean students who speak Korean, but like there are many students who born in this country as a 
yeah. English is their first language and the primary language, and they have really chance to. Um, we are giving the high school, the Korean class, is really giving them a good chance for them to speak and to learn the Korean language. So, so please consider that. In response to Mr. Kim, yes. and you say, what are you getting back? You get back each and every day from our teachers. And let me just give you one example. My ECC teachers spend a small fortune out of their own pocket, and Mrs. Terranova will back me up on that. But yesterday we went to the pool. A student had nothing with him. A teacher drove to the store, bought him a bathing suit. The other teacher went out. She bought him his lunch. The teachers here go over and above every day. And that's what you get for your money's worth. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grades are going up, too, as we speak. Mm -hmm. That's good. Anything further? Do I hear a motion to close audience participation? So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion to go into closed session? And motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I believe that.